My lecture today is called The Black Gods on the Gohanzan. We call the Gohanzan, or our object of worship, the Mandela of the Lotus Sutra. Let me show you the Mandela of the Lotus Sutra. This is our Mandela of the Lotus Sutra. Many call it the Gohanzan. The Gohanzan was inscribed by Nitrin Shonen, who is Bodhisattva Superior Practices. He is the messenger of the Buddha Shakyamuni. Let's get into our lecture. Again, my lecture is called The Black Gods on the Gohanzan. The story of the Black Gods on the Gohanzan is no different than the story and report presented in the media from our Attorney General Eric Holder regarding the damning report of injustice, racism, intolerance, and unethical behavior of not only the Police Department of Ferguson, Missouri, but the report listed racist behavior of police departments throughout America and their unethical racist behavior against African Americans nationwide. We African Americans understand the racist and harsh treatment against black people worldwide. While such behavior is an institutional system in America, racism and Buddhism is systematic and it's institutional. And this is why I'm giving you this lecture today, the Black gods on the Gohanzan because the racist Japanese sets extricated all of the black history from the Gohanzan and from Nichiren Buddhism. When you learn about the black gods on the Gohanzan, you are able to delineate the racist Nichiren Buddhist sects and the racist Buddhists from those who are true Buddhists. We must understand that the purpose of the Lotus Sutra is to teach the fact that all beings are capable of attaining enlightenment. The Lotus Sutra also teaches us about love and forgiveness. Although the Buddha's cousin Dabadana tried to kill the Buddha, in the Lotus Sutra, in the end, Dabadada became a Buddhist, and we who are Buddhists must become loving people. Our revealing this information is a cause to inspire others to read and learn more about Buddhist teachings and Buddhist history. Also, when black people learn about Buddhist gods and, and the gods of the Gohanzan, this knowledge change the dynamics of the spirit of Buddhist teachings. Many of us who study Buddhism learn Buddhism from our Asian brothers and sisters. When we see a priest, we consider a priest or our teachers to be almost infallible. However, when you learn the true facts and the real deal, you'll find out that some of these Japanese teachers are just as racist as Joe Sixpack in America who discriminate and who believe in inequality against people. Our newfound Buddhist knowledge motivates us to learn Buddhism. With our newfound knowledge, we learn Buddhism the way Shakyamuni teaches us. Shakyamuni says in his last sutra, in the Nirvana Sutra, that we must put faith in the law and not in persons. It doesn't matter if it's the Nichiren Shoshu High Priest, the Asaki Keda, or whatever priest or person teaching Buddhism. The Gosho teaches us that if they do not have Sutra in hand, then we should not heed to them because we must base Buddhism on facts. We must base Buddhism on truth because Buddhism is a teacher of equality 
and a teacher of equality for all people. When you learn Buddhist truth, you meet the Buddhist priests and the Buddhist robe, and you learn that many Buddhist teachers, including some, including some of the priests you know, are fraud. When you put your faith in any organization, person, or group, you should evaluate Buddhism based on facts and history. We encourage you to base your teachings on Buddhism that are in concert with facts and historical evaluation. In order to teach you about the black god of the Gohanzan, you must understand that there is clearly two types of Buddhism. There is Buddhism and there is white Buddhism. Let us who are Nichiren Buddhists delineate between the two types of Buddhism. Please view a picture of me and my beautiful wife, Bogalic Akaburn Devon. Me and Bogalic are taking a picture with Dr. Donald Johansson. Dr. Donald Johansson is the famous Paleon archaeologist who discovered the historic figure of Lucy. Lucy was a archaeological finding of one of the earliest humans in Ethiopia and they called it Lucy because the Beatles had a song called Lucy in the Sky. Dr. Johansson was doing a Buddhist lecture and he showed a diagram or the typical evolutionary chart where men evolved from an ape-like creature to who we are. And at the end of the evolutionary chart, they show a European man. During the lecture, Dr. Johansson stopped for a minute and says, this is the way most European or white people want to see history. They want to see history as a white man or a European at the end of the evolutionary chart. But he said, this is not true. Although such facts are not true, Dr. Johansson cannot change the teachings of white history. We have white history that's based on racism. Archaeological evidence shows us that the first people who evolved on this earth and the first humans were people of African descent and they're black. Now, the races had a problem with that and so what they do or what they project, they project a white man at the end of evolution, although this is far from correct. What they teach is white history. Now, also in the Buddhist world, what we have is Buddhist history and you have white history. The reason that we're doing this lecture today the black gods on the Gohansan is to teach correct history. Organizations like the SGI Daisaki Keda or the Nichiren Shoshu or Nichiren Shu organizations, they teach a Buddhism that is erroneous, that's incorrect, and that's institutional racist because they teach a Buddhism that extricate or removes all of black history from the teachings of Buddhism. Let's take this thing a little farther. Now, let us move to science and Buddhist teachings. Science teaches us about the Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization is India. The oldest civilization in human history is the Indus Valley Civilization, noted by many scientists as being older than the Egyptian civilizations. 
What is clear in regards to both civilizations is that the founders of both the Egyptian civilization and the Indus Valley civilization were black people and, and whites and, and black people known to whites as Ethiopians. Ethiopian is a Greek word that means burnt skin or black people. The ancient India is known as Eastern Ethiopia. The early civilization was, was the Harappan people who were an advanced culture. They had running water and a toilet system. And we have evidence of the people and the civilization in its history. Archaeological evidence shows the Harappan people as black people who had a high culture. From the Harappa culture emerged the people we know today as Buddhists. Also, the historical figure that we know as the Buddha Shakyamuni emerged from the indigenous people known in India today as Dalit. The Dalit in history were known as the Naga or snake people who came from Africa. In Africa, they are known as Nubian people. The Naga language is Tamil. Tamil later became Devila, and Devila later became Dravidian. The Buddha is known as a Dravidian. The Dravidian people developed what is known as the history and Buddhist culture. We, with the Buddhists who were the black people, they created gods who look like themselves. Nitrin Shonen put these gods on the Gohanzan. These gods are black because the Dravidian people made gods to look like themselves. These black gods are on the Mandela and Nitrin Shonen created. Our lecture is the black gods on the Mandela of the Lotus Sutra. Those of you who study Nichiren Buddhism, or you are thinking of accepting Nichiren Buddhism, what you will learn from many Japanese who teach Nichiren Buddhism is the fact that most white Nichiren Buddhists, S.J. Alita Daisaki Kena, Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu, while Nichiren uh, Buddhism it is like the culture of the evolutionary chart that institutional white races teach, where you see at the end of the chart a white man. This misnomer is institutional racism. When you study Buddhism from the Japanese Buddhist sets, their Buddhist teachings are inherently racist in that they purposely and cleverly accept the removal of black history from Buddhist teachings. British historian Sir Godfrey Hickens writes that all of the ancient Buddhist icons show the historical Buddhist Shakyamuni as a man of African descent. All literary, archaeological, evolution evidence proves that the Buddhist Shakyamuni was a man of African descent. Just as the facts of science prove that human life began in Africa, Racists rewrite history in their efforts to make history white history. Nichiren Shonen, the founder of Nichiren Buddhism, taught Buddhism and not white Buddhism. Literary evidence proves that the Pali Canon as the first Buddhist writings in 29 BCE, before the Christian era, proves black history via linguistic evidence based on language. The Pali Canon is the first Buddhist text and the world's largest documented recorded in the history of mankind. The Pali Canon is a black language that is inclusive of the culture and black history of Buddhist teachings and is the largest religious work in the world, 11 times larger than the Bible. 
The Sanskrit versions of Buddhist history is 100% racist in that it removes all the black history and culture of Buddhists who are of African descent. History proves that black Buddhists in India came under assault from the Hindu Buddhists or the Brahmins who killed all black Buddhists and rewrote Buddhist history. They created what is known as white Buddhist history. History proves that all black Buddhists were killed in India and around the world. The way that the Buddhist teachings were saved from permanent and racist and cultural assault was via its translation into the Chinese language. It is clearly the Chinese and the Chinese language that rescued Buddhism from racist assault. Another way that Buddhism was saved from racist assault is that the Lotus Sutra was transferred not only in writing, but the Lotus Sutra was transferred in pictures. When we look at the pictures on the Lotus Sutra, it shows that the Buddhists were absolutely black people, and this is black history. The Buddhist teachings were transferred from the Ethiopian black language of Parkit to the Chinese language. The most accepted version of the Lotus Sutra is the Chinese version translated into Chinese by the Tipitaka Master Kuma Jiva. When Nichiren Shonen studied the Lotus Sutra, he is clear in his writing that he studied not the Sanskrit version of the Lotus Sutra, but he studied the Chinese version translated by Kuma Jiva. The title of the Lotus Sutra translated by Kuma Jiva was Myohorengekyo. Nichiren added the word Namu. If you Google the Pali word Namu, that's N-A-M-O, it is used in Pali chants and it means devotion. Japanese sets like the SGI Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu purposely and erroneously teach that the word Namu is Sanskrit. It is clear that Namu is a Pali word. The Nichiren sets, the SGI Nichiren Shoshu, Nichiren Shu and other Japanese sets teach white Nichiren Buddhism and appropriates Nichiren teachings via Sanskrit. The Hindu Buddhists via race, culture, language, they execute, extricated or removed black people from Buddhist history. The Hindu Buddhists via race, culture, and language extricated black people from Buddhism via their incorporation of the Sanskrit language and explaining the teachings via the Sanskrit incorporation. It was around 700 AD when they moved this coup or they, the, the Hindus and the Brahmins took over Buddhism. If you are a Nichiren Buddhist, please be clear that there is Nichiren Buddhism and there is white Nichiren Buddhism. The SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, they all teach white Nichiren Buddhism. And they all extricate black Buddhist history from the teachings of Nichiren. Let us deal with Nichiren Buddhism and teach you about the black gods on the Gohanzan. The most clear-cut black Buddhist god on the Gohanzan is Fudo Myo. Fudo Myo is a well-known black Buddhist god who arrives from the esoteric Buddhist teachings. Nichiren Shonen inscribes this 
God in the holy character of the Bija. In the Pali Canon, ancient Buddhist writings translated into Chinese. In a sutta called the Akala Sutra, the Akala Sutra is a detailed sutta. sutra. Furumyo used the word Akala. He used the word, it means to cut through wisdom. And lastly, the blind, the devil, he deals with wisdom. He is known as the Wisdom King. Now, the name Fudo was known in the Pali language as Akala, but this is the same God that's on the Gohanzan. Please understand that Fudo Myo is an Emmanuel nation of the God Danichi Nara. That is the black cosmic Buddha in Nara, Japan. The word Akala means the movable one in the Pali language. There is no doubt that this is a black god. Fudo is always imaged as a black god. The New York Metropolitan Museum housed a picture of the black god Fudo Myo who was on the armor of the Shogun of Japan. Imagine the most powerful man in Japan, the Shogun, having the black Buddhist god Furumyo on his chest. In the Japanese culture, the Japanese pay the highest respect to their family and to their ancestors. However, on the other end, the Japanese pay the highest disrespect to people of African descent because the Japanese extricate all black Buddhist history from Nichiren Buddhism and they are the ones who maliciously and racially made the Buddha right. When you understand the Mandela of the Lotus Sutra, inscribed by Nichiren Shonen, the Mandela known as the Gohanzan had so much black culture, history, and language, you would think that you are reading a black history book. There is so much black history on the Gohanzan because the Gohanzan is true Buddhist history and the original Buddhist and Buddhist people in India, they were black people. Don't you understand, ladies and gentlemen, that the word India means black. The word India means black. Have you not heard the English word called India Inc.? India Inc. is black because that's what it means. India means black. India were black people. Now, there was a certain group of people who came who were of the lighter complexion and they were the Brahmins who tried to create a superiority and a caste system. On the Gohanza, we mentioned the black god Furumyo, but let us speak about the esoteric god written in ancient Pali in the summer of the Bija. The Bija is a seed. A Bija is described like a sperm, a seed that generates. And this is an esoteric character. And the other god on the Gohanzan is Azen Myo. This is what Nietzsche wrote on the Gohanzan. The races tried to take the Vija that came from the Vija Sutra, a Vija Sutra in the Pali language, and they try to make this a symbol, a Siddham symbol, or a Sanskrit symbol. But the Buddha got his teachings from Kulama Jiva and the translation from the Chinese and not from the Sanskrit. The ancient name of black people 
and the ancient India is what is called Eastern Ethiopia and they were called Naga. The Naga people are the ancient black people in India known today as Dalit. Nitrin Shonen mentions Naga people on the Gohanzan over 20 times. On the Gohanzan you have the Naga King Raja who is known as the Dragon King of the dragon or the serpent of the Naga, this come from the Naga people. When you hear the word Naga Saga in Japan, that comes from the Naga. That is a black term. In regards to black people, there is Buddhist history and there is a black culture on the Kohanzan. Now, also on the Gohanzan, you have on every side, on four sides of the Gohanzan, you have the four heavenly kings on the Gohanzan, and they are recognized in Pali Canon, and the gods were translated into Chinese names long before they became Sanskritized and changed from black to white by the later the Japanese later of the Japanese sense. Now, let us use common sense to dispel some of the Japanese racist misnomer. The name India means black. When they say India ink, that means black ink. Imagine a land of black people and no black history. Whites took the African culture of Egypt and made Egypt white while Egypt is in Africa. The white races did the same thing in Buddhism. They took the name India, that means black, and they made India white. Let us bring some historical facts in regard to black India. The world's oldest continuous dynasty of kings and queens is the Ethiopian dynasty. The Ethiopian dynasty have a written record called the Kiru Nagast. This is the glory of kings. Historically, many of you have heard about the Queen of Sheba. According to Ethiopian traditions, the first empire was founded by Zah Besi and Gabo of the Ari line which ruled Ethiopia for 350 years. This dynasty began 370 BC. The Ethiopians ruled India and put evidence of black Ethiopia over 600 years before the Buddha. The ancient language of the Ethiopians is called Gies. Gies and Hurskit is one and the same language, Karasi. These are Parsket. This is black language. At the time of the Buddha, the Buddha of India was ruled by the Ethiopians. They were part of the Ethiopian Empire or part of the Ethiopian dynasty. The first writings of Buddhism was in Pali Canon. Written in 29 BC, the first record or archaeological evidence of Sanskrit writing did not happen until the Gupta era around 320 AD or 350 years after the first Buddhist writings were recorded in Theravada Buddhism. In Theravada Buddhism was the first Buddhist writings to come to China and Japan. Nitrin Shonen based the Gohansan on the writings of the Chinese version of the Lotus Sutra translated by Kumajiva. Kumajiva translated the Ethiopian Paskip language to Chinese and was based in the Pali Canon, which is literally 
archaeologically and culturally inclusive of black history and linguistics. Nitrin Shonen wrote the Go Show, and he wrote in the Go Show that says he was a family of Chandela. Archaeological evidence proves that the first inhabitants of Japan were black or African people. The Anu, the ancient people of Japan, are ancestors to black people. When you look at the picture of the Anu, they look like the proto astrolords or the black people in India. The first shogun of Japan was Sakanayo no Tamoro, as written by anthropologist Alexander Francis Chamberlain named Sakanayo Tamoro as a Negro or Black because they had Black people in Japan. Sakamoto Toyo, the Shogun of Japan, founded the temple Kiyomizu Dura. Kizumo Dura was founded in 798 and this was a Tendai Buddhist temple. This means, ladies and gentlemen, that black Buddhist people are connected with Tendai Buddhism via the Shogun of Japan. The Shogun of Japan wore the black Buddhist god Furu Myoho on his armor. Nichiren and Shonen wrote in the Go Show, quote, the selection of time. And this is what he wrote, quote, In the ring of Emperor Shogo, 724-749, the 45th Sovereign, the Flower Garden School, was introduced from the Kingdom of Cilia by a priest of that state called the Preceptor Shinjo. The administrator of the priest, Robin, inherited his teachings and in turn introduced to them to Emperor Shobo. He also helped construct the great image of the Buddha and Todaji. That great image of the Buddha and Todaji that Nitrin Shonen speaks about, that is the black cosmic Buddha. And Nitrin knew about the black cosmic Buddha. Nitrin did not have problems with black people or black history. But Dasaki Keda, Nitrin Shoshu and Nitrin Shu, they'll go around calling Sanskrit sacred. When Nitrin Shonen did not use Sanskrit, Nitrin Shonen says in the Go Show that Sanskrit are the later versions that came about 300 years after Kunimajaro. On the Gohanzan, the four heavenly kings on the Gohanzan comes from Pali. They're all black. Daijoko Tenyo, Bishop Tenyo, we talked about Daikomoko Tenyo, and Daishinjo Tenyo. These gods are all black Buddhist gods. Let us conclude by letting you see a video, a three minute video of the black gods on the Gohanzan and we're going to come back and put a period on the black gods on the Gohanzan. We started with the black god Furu Myo'o. You see here a picture of Furu Myo'o. He was definitely a black god. Now, we go to the next one that we told you earlier, that's Ezen Myoho. Now, this is also a black Buddhist god. Now, Ezen is mostly portrayed as red. Now, on the outside of the Gohanzan, we go to the four heavenly kings. Now, we first talked about Bishop Montenegro. Uh, he is the god of wealth, the northern god, who we talked about. Next, we go come down to Dai Zocho Tenyo. And we see this is also a black god. We next come to Dai 
Komoku Tenyo. That's the next guard. These are the guards on the outside of Gohansan. And then there's a guard called Jotoko Kenyo, who later becomes Davadara Tenyo. We show Shakyamuni Buddha right here, just point that Shakyamuni Buddha. We next show you Naga Raja. Now, Naga, as you know, is the name of the black Buddhist or the black people in India. In the world called Naga. And the dragon king was called Naga Raja. Now, you have the, da the dragon king's daughter. She was the Naga girl. She was also black. And you have many of the God Kings. The God Kings on the Gohanzan are Naga. And the Naga means black or snake people. And they all are on the Gohanzan. Looking at the Gohanzan is like looking at a black history book. At the SGI, the Trichoshu, and the Trichoshu teach a white Buddhism that's racist. They teach a form of institutional racism and in their Gohanzan or on their Gohanzan is the Sanskrit teachings that extricate black teachings. If you want true Buddhism, then you must stand with those who are true to Buddhism. We are the proud black Buddhists. It was Dr. Martin Luther King that made America live up to his creed and those African Americans who fought and those Africans and black people who are fighting for freedom and justice and equality and those people who want truth and equality. You see it? That is, there is a black Buddhist history. I am Anthony M. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We are the best suited. We are the proud black Buddhists. Thank you very much. The Lord so true. Forward. Your dreams will now come Let's true. Forward. 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 A new life forward. is waiting on forward. you. Let's don't look forward. backwards. Forward. See things through. Forward. Forward. Follow the Lord of so true. Forward. Forward. Make your dreams forward. come true. Forward. That's, That's the thing to do. Forward. Forward. What they call forward. true Buddhism. Forward. It's Japanese forward. nationalism. Forward. forward. It's a form of racism. Forward. Forward. Follow the Lotus Sutra. Move forward. It's what forward. you do. Forward. Follow the Lotus Sutra. Forward. And make your dreams come true.